Hey everybody, it's Kathy from Elk Studio. Today I will be teaching you how to put on the edging of the Southern Diamonds Baby Blanket. We've been doing a crochet along and I just felt like maybe a visual would help some of you guys. So you can see I have a small um, swatch that I've done to kind of help us along. And so what the pattern instructions will tell you is that you want to make sure that you have multiple of five plus four plus your corner stitch. And so what that means is you're just, this is 19. So that would be five plus four. And then when I add my corner stitches, that will work out. So you want to make sure that you do the same thing for the sides and that can be where it can get a little tricky. So let's just see. I would have my one stitch that's gonna go in my corner on well, my three stitches, but you know, the one stitch will count as one. And that will be one and that will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So you can see I have 18, but I need five plus four. So I need 19 stitches on this side. So I'm going to have to be a little creative and just um, place an extra single crochet stitch in there somewhere. And I'll probably do it right here just because that's the middle. So what it says, is that you'll do three single crochet in the last stitch with the right side facing you. So let's just do that. I'm gonna slip stitch on. Then I'll do chain one and then I'll do three single crochet in this stitch. So I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna place a stitch marker in this second stitch because this is considered my corner stitch. I would recommend that you always place a stitch marker in your corner stitch. So that basically means I have one stitch on this side. So let's complete this side. So that's one, two, three. And you can see I'm placing the corner stitches around the post of the double crochet. So that's four. I'm not going to go around this part. I'm just going to go around the post. Five, six, seven, eight. And this is where I'll probably do three single crochet. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and now I have 18. So then I'll come in place a single crochet. I've made my way back to the foundation. So this is the first stitch actually in this foundation. So this will be three stitches in the foundation. So I'll do one, two, three. I'll place a stitch marker in the second stitch. So let's count our stitches between the corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So that is correct. That's five plus four, which is 19. And our one is our corner stitches. So we don't have to worry about that. 
So that's what you will do for round one. You'll just be placing single crochet stitches in your stitch. So work yourself all the way around and I'll meet you back at the stitch marker. Okay, so I've made it all the way around. So let me just take this out for just a second so we can talk. You can see that I have placed a single crochet all the way around and I've placed my stitch markers, okay? There are, with this particular square, it's the multiples of five plus four, which is what you will work for your rows plus your corner stitches. So as long as you do that, it's okay. I've already given you the starting chain counts for your, your um, length. So now you just have to figure out your width and you just wanna make sure that you end on an odd number row or the right side of your project. So let's start with round two. So we'll join by slip stitch to the first stitch. Chain three, and that counts as your first double crochet. Then the pattern will tell you to place five double crochet in each corner stitch, and then you will double crochet all the way around. So I'll take my stitch marker out, and I'll place five double crochet in this corner stitch. One, two, three, four, five. So now what I will do is I will place my stitch marker back in my corner stitch. And so you have five double crochet right here. So your corner stitch is going to be this third double crochet or the center. So place your stitch marker right there. So then you'll just continue working double crochet all the way down until you reach your next corner where you'll place five double crochet in your corner stitch. Be sure to place your stitch marker and I'll meet you back around to the end. Okay, so we've made it all the way around to round two. So I'll just join by slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And the pattern will tell you to chain one and single crochet in the first stitch. And basically this is another easy round because you will just be doing um, single crochet all the way around. So it will tell you to single crochet in the first stitch and each stitch around, placing three single crochet in each corner stitch. So let's just make our way over to the corner stitch. And I'm not changing yarn colors as I've indicated in the pattern. You'll need to follow that if you want to. And I'm also using a different yarn and a different hook size just because I wanted to be able to show you guys the stitches a little bit better. So I'm going to take my stitch marker because it'll tell you to place three single crochet in your corner stitch, which is easily identified by my stitch marker. I will place three single crochet in this stitch, immediately placing the stitch marker back in because it will go in that middle stitch right there, the second one. So then you'll just work single crochet all the way down the corners, down the side, till you get to your corner and placing three single crochet in each corner. Work your way around and I'll meet you back. Okay, we've made it our way around round three. So the pattern will tell you you need to join by slip stitch to the first stitch. But be careful because round four instructions 
tells you to slip stitch in the next stitch. So we will slip stitch again into the next stitch, which is the beginning of round four. The pattern will tell you to do a beginning shell. For a beginning shell, it's chain four, double crochet in the same stitch, chain one, and double crochet in the same stitch again. And you have your beginning shell. So then the pattern will tell you to skip the next two stitches and you will shell in the corner stitch. And this will form our corner shell. So a shell is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet again. Now I'm going to place, since this is my corner shell, I'll place my stitch marker in this middle double crochet. So that's my corner stitch. So we'll just turn around just a little bit on the corner. The pattern will tell you to skip the next two stitches, do a shell in the next stitch, Remember it's double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And then the pattern says to skip the next four stitches, one, two, three, four, and shell in the next stitch. And then you will repeat this process until you get down to the last corner, the last two stitches before the corner, you'll skip those last two stitches and you'll do a shell in that corner. So you'll do a shell all the way down until you get to the last two stitches. You'll skip these two stitches and you'll do a shell in your corner stitch. Repeat that process all the way around and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so we've made our way around round four. So the pattern will tell you to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And if you were using a different color, you would fasten off right here. And you would start your new color in this double crochet right here, in the middle double crochet of this shell stitch. But since I'm using the same color, this is a tip for you. If you're going to use the same color, you can just slip stitch your way over. And that'll take care of it. So then you'll chain three. You'll do four double crochet in the same stitch. Two. three, four. So you have five double crochet in this shell. So then the pattern will tell you to skip the next chain one space, two double crochet, and chain one space, which puts you at your corner shell in your corner stitch. And then what you'll do is you will do nine double crochet in this corner stitch. I know it may seem like a lot, but it's going to work, I promise. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. 
So right at this moment, I want you to pick your stitch marker back up. So you have nine double crochet. So that means the fifth double crochet would be the center. So one, two, three, four, and five. Because you have four double crochet remaining. So that's your center stitch. So then the pattern will say, skip the next chain one space, two double crochet, chain one space, five double crochet in the next stitch, all the way around to the next corner where you'll do nine double crochet in that corner stitch. Let's finish up this one so you can kind of see the corner. One, two, three, four, and one more. So this is what your corners should look like at the end of round five. You have your five double crochet in your starting shell, nine double crochet in the center, and then five double crochet. So then you will place five double crochet basically in each center part of the shell. And then when you get down to your corner, you'll place nine double crochet in your corner. So work your way around and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so we have made it around round five. So let's slip stitch top of the chain three to our first stitch. And if you were using a different color, you would weave, fasten off and weave in your ends right here and you would join with your next color in this middle double crochet right here which is the third double crochet. So because I'm using the same color I will just slip stitch my way over. We will do another beginning shell which is chain four. Double crochet in the same stitch, chain one, double crochet in the next stitch. So we will skip the next four stitches, one, two, three, four. We will do a V stitch in this next stitch, which is double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. You will skip this next stitch and then you will do a large shell in this corner stitch which is right here. So then we will do a large shell which is double crochet, chain one, double chain, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet one more time. So you should have four double crochet and three chain one. So this time your center will be a chain one space, not an actual stitch. So just place your stitch marker in that space. You will skip the next stitch, place a V stitch in the next stitch. Skip the next four stitches, one, two, three, four and place a shell in this next stitch, which you can see is the center of these five double crochet. So let's do a shell right here, which is double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. So then you will skip the next four stitches and do a shell in the next stitch all the way tuck down until you get to the corner stitch 
where you will do a large shell. So this is what your corner should look like. Work your way around and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so we've made it to the end of round six. So it'll tell you to join by slip stitch to the top of the chain three of the first stitch. And then you've made it. Basically, you've done it. All you've got to do now is the single crochet and the double crochets. So we will place a stitch, a single crochet in that first stitch. And then right here, you will just place a single crochet in each chain one space and double crochet. I'll keep working this to show you when we get down to the corner. So you're just placing a single crochet in each chain one space and stitch. until we get to the corner. Now we're at the corner. What you'll do, take your stitch marker out and you'll place three double crochet in this chain one space. Let's mark our center corner stitch again. So one, two, three, so the second one. So now what you'll do is just continue making single crochets in each chain one and stitch all the way down until you get down to your corner chain one space where you'll place three single crochets. Work your way around and I'll meet you back at the end. So we've made our way around round seven. So let's slip stitch to the first single crochet. You'll chain three. And then you'll do a double crochet all the way down to the center stitch. right here and that's where you'll place five double crochet in that stitch and then you'll just work your all your way all the way down placing double crochet in each one of these stitches and placing five double crochet in your corner stitch so go ahead and finish that and I'll meet you back around okay everybody we're at the end of round eight so let's join by slip stitch to the top of the chain three. So then we'll chain one and we'll do a single crochet in the first stitch. So then you'll just do a single crochet all the way down to the end of the corner where you'll place three single crochet in your corner stitch. And then you'll go all the way around and you'll do the same thing all the way around. See, I don't have my stitch. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three. So just work yourself all the way around and come down and go all the way around. And then you will join by slip stitch to your first stitch. And then you fasten off and weave in your ends and you are done with the edging. Here's the original blanket. The corner of it, if you want to see. And that's what it would look like with color changes. You can see right here is the single crochet, the first round of the single crochet. And then we did our double crochet, followed by single crochet, 
our five shell in the center, followed by our nine double crochet in the center, with our seven, our, our large shell in the center, again, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial on the Southern Diamonds edging. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.